Hi guys, my name is Jamie from Fui Group and I'm the marketing manager. Today in our video, I'm going to be showing a very important part of our quality control system with you today and it's going to be broken down into four parts. Now it's going to be complex, but we'll walk through it step by step. Now the first part is going to be our QC policy. Now this is a very important part of how we do things here. Now the second part is going to be a brief and analysis. That's going to help you understand how we take in your demands and needs and make them work for you. The third part is going to be our proofing, which we're going to talk about a little bit more later. And then the last one, most importantly, is going to be our production. So it's going to be four blocks and we're going to walk through it all in this video. So stick watching, guys. Now on the screen now, you can see our first chunk, which is our QC policy. The main tenant of this QC policy is that we never reduce our quality control for any reasons whatsoever. So that keeps us at 100%. QC policy. So after our customers or you have been through the QC policy and you understand a bit more about our quality control system, then we can move on to your brief and analysis. Brief and analysis is what you want from us, what the demands that you have for the product. Now this is broken down into six individual aspects. Now the first one is special craft requirements, material requirements, factory order requirements, quality requirements, testing requirements and special requirements. Now, all of these six aspects are very, very important of the brief and analysis. Now, once we talk to you about these and we walk you through the steps of these different requirements, we can get a better picture for the products that you would like. Now, once your needs and demands have been clarified of our sales team, then we move on to our next step. Now, the sales team will talk to our internal department. So we have a QC department, a planning department, a tech department, our lab and our material specialist we will walk through all of the individual requirements and see if we can actually make them for you. Once we've talked about this internally, we can talk to you again about how and when we can make the products for you. Okay, so now we'll move on to our first proofing. This is after all of the needs and requirements of yourself have been met. Now, in the first proofing, first thing we'll do is create the material color card. So you want a specific color or a specific kind of material, then we will make the color card and material card for you to check if that's the one that you need. So our second step is gonna be material usage accounting. So we're gonna look at all the different materials that we need and how we can use them properly and to the best way for you. The third step is gonna be our design drawing. Now this is probably the one that you like the most, getting your product onto the design board and seeing how it'll look on your customers. Then the fourth step after that is that we're gonna do a timeline for you. So when you start production to when we end production and when the products can be in your hands, We'll make a complete timeline so you can be exactly sure and safe on when your products can be in hand. Now we move on to the fifth step. It's going to be the quality analysis. Now we're going to talk about different quality that we can make for you, etc. After that, we're on to our last sixth step, which is the fitting. Now we usually do our fitting on models, but we can also send the samples to you and you can do the fitting for yourself. Now, move on to our next step after that. Now, this is going to be an internal meeting with the major departments that are involved in producing your scrubs. So we're going to have the design departments, the QC departments, we're going to have someone from the sales departments and also the technical departments, all meeting to discuss the products that you want and how we can make them and get them on time to your shop. After this is finished, our designer will meet with the customer or yourself to see if the product fits you and if it's the product that you want. If there's anything that needs changing, then we will go through the process again for our second proofing so we can get the product that's 100% perfect for you. Now, say for example, our sample is confirmed and we can move forward. Now there's another few steps internally that we must take so we can get the right product. Now the first one is gonna be a flowchart and an SOP process of how we make the product for you. This will also be shared with you. Essentially, this is an internal process. Second after that, we're gonna be usage counting. So we're gonna be looking at the materials, how much you need, how much we can spare to make your product. The third one is quality standard. Now we need to set high standards for the products that you need and the products that we want to make for you. So this is an important and integral part of the process. After that, we have a BOM form. Now this is a very internal form, but it's also important to the process too. Now the fifth step after that is gonna be our technical support requirements. Now we need to gonna go through all of the support that we need to make these products. Again, after that, material requirements, what materials that we're gonna need, extra materials to make the product. After this, our tool list, size chart, and piece picture. This is an internal process, so we give you a quick rundown of how we do things. This is all after the sample has been confirmed between you and us. So now we're gonna move on to our fourth and last step. Now we've been through the QC policy, brief analysis, 
proofing and now the last step but the most important step is obviously our production now once our sample has been confirmed you're going to send your purchase order to us all the products that you need and all the materials that you would need and like them in and also the quantity of these products now once you've entered into properly mass produced products for your order first we're going to do pre-production samples now these pre-production samples are going to use the material and the same quality that you need for your end product once you have this pre-production sample we will send it to you to confirm once you confirm then we'll start our production so this will be considered a small batch production now we'll start off with that small batch production and it'll be supervised by three of our major departments it's going to be production departments it's going to be our qc departments and also our technical departments these three departments will be walking through the first batch all of the way to make sure everything is perfect so in this small batch production our factory will be doing these things so first of all we're doing the picking and cutting now this is going to be supervised again by our three departments secondly our workshop managers will con conduct lots and lots of sampling on the batch as we're working through it the third step is that we're going to consistently carry out quality inspection on the product to make sure there's going to be no problems during the process and if there are problems during the process then we're going to be starting again or changing our way of doing things our last step is that the QC manager will conduct daily inspections and have reports on the quality of the product that we're making. If we find any unqualified products at all, so that means if it's 99% okay, but not 100% okay, then this product will be rejected and we'll start the process again. After this product has started again, in the first 24 hours, we will do another quality inspection until this product passes. That's our whole production process. Now we talked about it in four steps here. Again, we've gone through the QC policy, gone through the proofing, We've gone through the brief and analysis and also the production. Now these four steps are very complex and today I've just walked through some of the simple steps that we take. But if you'd like to learn more about our production process and how we make your products, you can get in touch with us and we have lots and lots of more material that we can send to you. But thank you for watching today. I've been Jamie and we are Fury Group. See you in the next video.